Alrighty guys, this is the final part. I have 30 minutes on my phone. Yeah, so that's my deal for all those actors who I'm thinking of for the Matrix franchise. And if they want more money, I'm like, guys, man, this is good enough money. I'm not paying you any more money, man. You rip me off. You know what I'm saying? I'm already, I'm, you're not even worth my rollbies. I'm nice to give you pieces of rollbies. This is good enough. Those are my live into deal. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're very generous. Yeah, I'm very generous. I gave you a deal of a lifetime. I'm sorry. Now, let's talk about the story in the remaining 30 minutes I have here. And I'm going to end the video here. And I'll take, upload my video and I'll take my shower. I'll have my last two smokes. And I'll enjoy the video with you guys. All right. So I'm going to skip to the part when, um, when, when, when the cops arrest me at school. I'll, I'll talk from there. Because I, I, I always talk about well, the beginning of the World War. You know, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip to the part when it's 16 years later. I'm in high school and I get caught with hacking, obviously, and the cops arrest me, obviously. But to start the movie off, I'm going to start it off with the flashbacks of the original Matrix movies. You get the life of, 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 of Keanu Reeves in the Matrix, or Neo as the one. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you get the scene where, where, where Morpheus is like, we found the one, you know what I'm saying? You get the scene when the Oracle talks to, to Keanu Reeves. Let me have a look at you. Ah, uh, I'm saying you already know what I'm going to tell you. I'm not the one. Yeah, sorry, kiddo. You've got the gift, but it seems like you're waiting. Really, what was he waiting for? The next life, obviously, he died and became the one. But he was also waiting. There was a deeper meaning behind that. He was waiting for me. But Keanu Reeves tells me whenever I die and I, and I, and I, and I have this dream, I see the white light. Keanu Reeves is like, I was waiting for you. I now know what I was really waiting for. I was waiting for you. That's what the Oracle meant. What's well, a deeper meaning to all that? Yeah. Well, you should have your creative. Yeah, it's a very good. I know it's a good story. You got an amazing story, man. Yeah. Obviously, when Keanu Reeves jumped into Smith in the first movie, obviously, he destroyed Smith, obviously. In the second movie, Smith became connected to him. He came back more powerful. He was able to clone himself. You know, I'm sure you're aware of what? Our connection. You know what I'm saying? Before, before, before Neo, before, had Neo not... Um, jumped into Smith, obviously, Smith never would have became uh, connected to Neo. Because he jumped into Smith, to Smith and destroyed him, Smith came back more powerful. The program came back more powerful. He was able to clone, now he's able to clone himself. And he's no longer plugged in the Matrix. He's unplugged. Whereas my idea for, the, for, the, for Smith in my movie, he's plugged in the Matrix. But he's also able to clone, clone himself. He's more powerful. Is there? You know I'm saying, yeah. And you, you had the flashback where like Neo was like, the Agent Smith has grown beyond control. You cannot stop him, but I can. And if you fail, I won't. And he failed, obviously. He couldn't defeat Smith. He saved Zion, but that came at a price. He had to sacrifice his life to save Zion to the Mages. He couldn't defeat Smith, Neo, because he wasn't the chosen one. He was the sixth one. I am the seventh one. I am the lucky one, obviously. Samsara. Oh, holy shit, I'm creepy. That's not very creepy. I'll tell you the story. Samsara. I'm very creative. I know how to tell a good story. I know how to tell a good story. Samsara. I know how to tell a good story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have all these flashbacks of the Matrix uh, movie, obviously. There. Of the original Matrix movies, not Resurrection. No, Resurrection is leave from canon. You have Flash, which is the original three uh, movies. So I'm going to tell the cast, okay, guys, I want to start the story off with the flashbacks. You know how when you watch Two Towers and Return of the King, you got the flashbacks of Gandalf fighting uh, fighting Bell Rock? You know what I'm saying? Gandalf, you know what I'm saying? You shall not pass. Gandalf, remember that? Yeah, you have flashbacks of, 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 of Neil's life. And you end it off with with, uh, with Smith cocking himself onto Neil, obviously. And he's like, is it over? And it's over. And I'm saying the machine's destroyed. He's like, no, that's not fair. You can't do this, I'm saying. And then, and, 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 and the machine destroyed him, obviously. And you end it off with the Oracle telling, uh, uh, he's like, where's Neil? Neil's smiling at us, I'm saying. 
and you ended off with with with, with that scene in the, in the first Matrix when the black cat walks by and counter. He's like, "Oh, deja vu." You know what I'm saying? So like, what did you say? I, I saw a black. I saw a black cat, and another one that looks just like it passed by again. I'm saying, "Yeah, deja vu means when there's something, when there's a change in the Matrix." You ended off with that, and you get the black screen. You know what I'm saying? You get the black screen, obviously, and it says the Matrix deja vu. You get the green code, and it transfers into the Matrix. And it says 100 years later. The sixth iteration is 100 years later. And it shows uh, the family. Holy shot, you're craving, yes. And the family the family's at this event. They drive home. And, and the, the kids see the two cats walk by, and the, the glitch happens, the, 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 the deja vu happens. And that's when Agent Smith and his agents return to the Matrix. Look at an amazing story. I have to go to Masteries. I have this, these pictures of my mom. I'm like, yeah, you're looking at an amazing story. You're looking at a Masteries, man. Look at a Masteries. Yeah, so I'm going to talk about... So 60 years later, I in. I get caught at school, obviously, and the cops come and, 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 and arrest me. And I'm in the car, obviously. And the cops are talking, obviously. You know, I'm saying the cops are talking, obviously. You know, and, and, and I'm saying, and I'm, I'm I'm cuffed in the car, obviously. And then the cop, the, the cop car ends up, the car ends up passing the police station. He's like, hey, I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm like, shouldn't we be at the police station? We just passed it. You know, I'm saying, like, where are you taking me? You know, what I'm saying, and the cops are silent. I'm like, hey, hello, can you hear me? And I'm saying, where are you taking me? We just passed the police station. You know, what I'm saying, where are we going? And he's like, shut up, kid. We don't talk to hackers. I'm like, sir, man, I'd like to know where I'm going. I have rights too, you know. You know, and the, 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 the cops like, you don't know, do you, kid? You know, I'm like, I'm like, what? He's like, we're taking you to him. Who? He's like, Agent Smith. I'm like, Agent Smith? Who the fuck is Agent Smith? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Holy shit, you're crazy. Yeah, they're kind of amazing story. I'm like, who the fuck is Agent Smith? I'm saying. He's, 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 like, he's, like, he's, like, he's like, he's like, the hackers don't go to us. They go to him. You know what I'm saying? You know the agents don't like hackers, right? They, they 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 haven't had they they haven't had good dealings with hackers in the past. You know that, right? You know I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm like, is this even legal? Am I even supposed to be going to this place? I'm supposed to be at the police station, man. Where are you taking me? You know, it's like sh how many times I gotta tell you we don't talk to hackers. Holy <laughs> yeah. well, shit, creative guy! Look at an amazing story. I'm saying. So I don't know the cops corrupt. Yeah, the cops are a little bit corrupt, obviously. Just like in the ma the cops in the matrix are corrupt cops, obviously. They work with Agent Smith. They're corrupt cops, obviously. As I'm not supposed... They're not supposed to be taking me to, to the interrogation place with Agent Smith. No, they're supposed to be taking me to the police station. But they're they're corrupt cops, obviously. Right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, holy shit. And I end up going into the uh, interrogation room. And they... Uh, the, the Remember when you saw uh, Neo... In the first Matrix movie, he was in that room, and, and uh, the agents interrogate him. Yeah, I'm in that same room, the exact same room. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have the crewman build the exact same set that Keanu Reeves was in in the Matrix first movie. I'm saying, and the cops inter and then Agent Smith interrogates me. I'm saying, he's like, "What is your name?" I'm like, "My name is this, this." I'm saying, he's like, "So, so the principal told me that you were caught hacking in school. You know, this is a federal offense, right? You can do five to ten years in prison for this." And I'm like, uh, uh, really? He's like, yes. <clears throat> I'm saying, he's like, I don't like hackers. I don't like hackers at all. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How long have you been hacking? I'm like, uh, long enough. He's like, he's like, who are you working with? I'm like, who's your superior? I'm like, I don't have a superior. I do have a superior. The guy who hooked me up with hacking as a kid. You know what I'm saying? He what? He, uh, he's my superior, obviously. I, unlike me, I don't snitch him out. Whereas my so-called best friend, he snitches me out in the, in the movie, obviously. My so-called best friend, he snitches me out in the movie, obviously. Is there? My so-called best friend, he snitches me out in the movie, obviously. You know what I'm saying? And then, yeah. He's like, who are you working with? I'm like, I'm not working with anyone. You know what I'm saying? The, the agents like grab him. Hey, what are you doing, man? Get off me, man. Is this, is this, is this, is this, is this, is this even legal, man? What are you doing? Get off me, man. I'm a little bit scared, obviously. He's like, tell me who you're working with. I'm like, I'm not working with anyone. I give him the, he threatens me. I give him the finger. And the agents are like, brave this kid is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And 
Agent Smith is like, I'll let you off with a warning. I'm like, so I'm not going to prison. He's like, no, I'll let you off with a warning. I don't, if I ever catch you hacking my city again, I'm going to have to have my agents deal with you accordingly. You know what I'm saying? He's like, no, get out, get out, get out. And I get out, obviously. You know what I'm saying? And the agents are all looking. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, looking. He's like, the kid, this kid was brave. He's like, he's like, you threatened him and you still, you still did not break him. He's like, there's something off about him. Smith is like, looks, he's like, there's something off about this kid. 16 years old, he's already a, ha- a hacker. You know what I'm saying? And the way he stood up to me like that, you know what I'm saying? It reminds me of him. You know what I'm saying? Thomas Anderson, you know what I'm saying? Also known as Neo, 100 years ago. And the aides are all laughing, ha, 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 because Thomas, Thomas Anderson died, obviously. Neo, Thomas Anderson, a.k.a. Neo, he died. He died, obviously. He, he died 100 years ago, obviously. You know, my parents pick me up, obviously, at the base, obviously, and they take me home. I'm silent in the car. And my parents are like, get out of my house. I will not allow any illegal activity in my house. I'm like, Mom, Dad, I just want to make some money for myself. He's like, get out. You're nothing but a disgrace of a son. We never should have adopted you. You know what I'm saying? We don't even know where you even came from. I'm like, what do you mean you don't know where I came from? He's like, the adoption agency told us that some man found you in our fucking junkyard. You know, it's like, get out. So you, son, you, you're saying you don't know who my parents are? You found me in a junkyard? Yeah, some man found you in a junkyard. We don't even know who your parents are. Get out of my house. Take your things and get out. You know what I'm saying? And find yourself another school. And you see my, 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 my daddy's like, you heard her, get out. I'm like, fine. I go to my room, I get, I get my clothes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I put it in my bag. You know what I'm saying? I put it in my bag, obviously. I get my clothes, I put it in my bag, I get my cash. And I leave and I end up crashing at my friend's place. My one and only friend at school, I crashed at his place for a good like two weeks. And I end up getting a job as a dishwasher, obviously. You know what I'm saying? And I have the interview at the dishwasher place. The guy interviews me. He's like, he's like, he's like so you, you apply? Yeah, I applied. So you, you need money? Yeah, I need money. I need money quick. He's like, are you, how old are you, kid? I'm like, I'm 16 years old. Are you in school? Or am I not anymore? He's like, so what do you, do you have any dishwashing experience? No. You know what I'm saying? Okay, what are you, what experience do you have? What are you good at? I'm like, hacking? And the guy's laughing. He's like, haha, one for jokes, huh? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm not joking, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And then, and what? The guy's, okay, kid, you're hired. He's like, but remember, don't come late. He's like, we know we don't like people who come late right now. I come late, like, all the time to work. Yeah. And it transfers for a couple shifts. A couple days later, I'm working. And I, and I, I, I meet that guy who becomes my so-called best friend. Then, like, I don't know, my fourth day into working, he, t- he tells me, he, he hooks me up with hacking, obviously. Yeah, I overheard you talking to, to the boss. I heard I, I heard you saying that you're, you're a hacker yourself. I'm like, yeah, I was joking. I'm like, are you really, jo- are you really joking? I'm like, no. So you really are a hacker, huh? I'm like, yeah, I'm a hacker. So you know how to hack? I'm like, yeah, I know how to hack. He's like, yeah, I'm a hacker too. We know we can make some good money on the site doing this, right? I need a partner to help me out. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like I can't really do that. You know? He's like, why not? I'm like, yeah, I, I, I got caught at school. You got caught at school? Yeah, they took the, the cops arrested me and they, they brought me to the agents. So his, the guy's name is like Agent Smith. He's like, Agent Smith? He's like, you, they brought you to the, they took you to the agents? I'm like, yeah. The agents interrogated you? Yeah, they did. He's like, you must have been frightened. You must have been scared. I'm like, yeah, I was a little scared, but I was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But don't worry about it. You won't get caught, man. I will, we'll keep everything low key. I have eyes everywhere. I'll keep it low key. And that, and that guy ends up selling me out 20 years later. Yeah, look at an amazing story. You're looking at an amazing story. That guy ends up selling me out. That guy ends up selling me out, obviously. So is there? And then, and then, and then what? So, so, so are you are you in? I'm saying you, you you come on man. You know you can't you can't you can, you can barely make rent with the amount of money you're making being a dishwasher. You need to make some real cash. I'm like okay, I'll, I'm like oh, but if I get caught with this, we, uh, well, if we yeah, if we get caught with this, we can do five to ten years in prison for this. Don't worry about it. We won't get caught. 
He's like, he's like, look, man, tonight, it's like, to, after, after work, come over to my place. And I come over to the guy's place, and he has, like, his hacking stuff in his, in his, in his, you know how Neo had his computer? Yeah, he has something like that in his apartment. I'm like, holy shit, this is, this, this is, this is your, holy shit, this is crazy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and he hooks me up with hacking equipment, obviously, and I end up hacking with him, and we make some good, and it shows me I make my first $1,500. And he celebrates, hey, man, you, let's, let's go get a beer. I'm like, we're underage. I'm like, yeah, don't worry about it. I know a guy who can buy me beer. And he goes to some guy. He goes to the guy. Hey, man, can you buy us a beer? And the guy buys us a beer. And we have a beer, obviously. And I'm like, to, you know what I'm saying? we're going to make a good team. And it, that's when it transfers 20 years later. When I am 30, I am now 36 years old. And it's now me. You're now, I'm now playing as me. I have no matter. I'm playing as me. Uh, no playing is me, obviously. I am now playing as me, obviously. And what? I am now playing as me. And I'm working as a dishwasher, obviously. And you now, now Michael B. Jordan and are getting ready to see the Oracle in the Matrix. And then Michael B. Jordan and they go into the Matrix. You get that scene. They go into the Oracle's apartment. And they meet the Oracle. The Oracle is baking cookies, muffins, and then and she tells Mike we Jordan Reed that she has bad news. Okay, what's the bad news? Agent Smith, remember the unusual events that took place 30 years ago? Yeah, I remember that. Everyone everyone talked about it, you know what I'm saying, in, in, in Zion, about the, the, the unusual events going on in the Matrix. You know what I'm saying? She, yeah, yeah. Around that time, that was when Agent Smith returned. Agent Smith has returned in the Matrix. Agent Smith has returned. So you're saying this whole time there's been agents in the Matrix? Yes. And we never knew about that? No. Smith duped us all. You know what I'm saying? You see Oracle saying that? Yeah. But I also have some good news. What's the good news? The one has been born in the Matrix. And this one is lucky. This one is the seventh one. You know what the number seven means? Uh, God, yes. This one is lucky. Whereas Neo was the sixth one. You know what the number six stands for? What? The devil. Six stands for the devil, obviously. That's why Neo was not lucky. Neo made a lot of errors. He wasn't too bright. I told him he wasn't too bright of a one. He could have took the door on the right, but he took the door on the left. He jumped into Smith, and Smith came back more powerful, connected to him, obviously. He let Smith call himself onto him, and doing so, now Smith is now back in the... Smith was able to return. He's now back in the Matrix. More powerful than you could ever imagine. Only the... So you're saying... So... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the one, only the one can stop Agent Smith. And the one has been born in the Matrix. Something like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Something cool like that, obviously. Is there? And the Oracle tells Michael Jordan, you will find this one. So you're saying, I'm just like your great-grandfather Morpheus found Neil, you're also going to find the one too. And she tells Ouija, you're going to love the, you're going to love the one. Love the one. I don't even know him. Trust me. You'll see why you like him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You'll see why you like him, obviously. <laughs> and she's like, she's like, she's like how, Michael Jordan's like, how am I supposed to find the one in a fucking city with millions of people? He's like, you will find You have to trust in yourself. You have to believe in yourself that you will find him, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the one. So you're saying, yeah, the one, the day Agent Smith returned into the Matrix, that was the very same day the one was born in the Matrix. 36 years ago, around the, the, the time the deja vu happened in the Matrix. The change in the Matrix, that was when the one was born. She's like, yes. She gives him a clue, obviously. And he's like, you know who he is, don't you? He's like, that answer you have to search for yourself. He's like, if you know who he is, why don't you just tell me who he is? And he's like, that. He's like, Michael, uh, Messiah. You have to that answer. You have to search for yourself. So you're saying you know who he is, but you won't tell me. And she's all, he's all frustrated. He's like, "Here, take a cookie. Once you finish eating it, you'll feel right as rain." You know what I'm saying? Believe in yourself, Messiah. You will find him. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, "Oh, whatever." And he leaves. And that's when they they have that argument at Nebuchadnezzar, obviously. And they're all all the Nebuchadnezzar crew are. Ours. So you're saying that Agent Smith is back in the Matrix all this all these years? Yeah, as well as three of his agents. I'm afraid so. You know what I'm saying? The Oracle told me that Neil was not the Neil made a lot of errors. He wasn't the chosen one. And he's like, Neil has failed us all. He's even talking. He's just like, don't say that. 
You know what I'm saying? Neil saved this. He saved Zion. He saved the Matrix. The Michael Jordan's like, oh yeah? You know what I'm saying? He's like, he's like, look around. He's like, Agent Smith is now back in the Matrix, as well as three of his agents that none of us can take. Doesn't look like much saving to me, man. You know what I'm saying? You see Michael Jordan yelling, yeah. Everyone's like, calm down, Messiah. You know what I'm saying? Like, calm down, Messiah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then Mike B. Jordan's frustrated. And everyone else in the crew are frustrated because Agent Smith is now back in the Matrix. As well as three of his agents. Yeah. Give me a sec, guys. I have to take a quick leak. Don't hate me, you know what I'm saying? Skip the book if you want to wait. Sorry for the wait. I only have a good six and a half minutes left my phone around there. Seven and a half minutes left my phone. Yeah, so I'll talk for the remaining, I don't know, seven minutes I have left my phone. I'll end the video here, guys. I'll upload, I'll take my shower, and I'll enjoy the show with you guys. And I'll watch some stuff on YouTube. Obviously. Yeah, so then later on during the day, obviously, Michael B. Jordan, he goes to the grave of Morpheus. His great-grandfather and great-grandmother, obviously. And Neo and Trini, he's like, oh, he's like, why Neo? He's like, how could you do this to us? I'm saying, how could you fail us like this? You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know what I'm saying? You were the one. And yet you made so many errors. How can you let Smith come as long as you? How can you let Smith, Agent Smith come back into the Matrix? But what Mike B. Jordan doesn't know, obviously, but what, 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 what? Neil was not, the reason why uh, Smith came back because Neil was not the chosen one. I am the chosen one. I'm the lucky, se I'm the lucky one, the seventh one. <laughs> Whereas Neil was not so lucky. He had a lot of bad stuff happen in his life, obviously. He lost his eyesight, lost a lot of his life. He, he couldn't defeat Smith. He had to sacrifice himself. He died twice. Yeah, Neil died twice, man. Yeah, he died in Matrix 1. He also dies again in Matrix 3. Obviously. And he's like, oh, he's like, he's like Morpheus, if only you were here. If only you were, if only, if only you were here, you would guide me. You know what I'm saying? He talks to Morpheus. See Morpheus' grave, Naomi's grave, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It transfers to a scene where he's sleeping, obviously, and then and, and, and Zion, he can't sleep. He opens, he opens the, um, he gets, he opens the door, whatever it is, and he goes outside, and BJ hears the noise, and she goes outside, and she joins him. She like, can't sleep either, or he's like, yeah, I can't. He's like, how could I sleep, knowing that Agent Smith is now back in the mages with three agents, that none of us can take, only the one can take them, you know what I'm saying? I gotta find him. She's like, don't worry about it. You'll find him. Your great grandfather Morpheus found you. You're also gonna find the one. Mike Jordan's like, it's easy for you to say. All you gotta do is love the man. You know what I'm saying? And V is like, he's like, hey man, do you wanna go clubbing in the Matrix? Clubbing in the Matrix? Like when everyone's sleeping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, the, we don't have an opera. Yeah, yeah, well, wake him. Well, let's wake him up. Let's go clubbing. You know what I'm saying? She's like, hey, maybe that's a clue. The Oracle told us to, to go clubbing. To clear our heads. 
have a drink, clear our heads. Yeah, it may be. You know what I'm saying? And Mike B. Jordan, we didn't end up waking up the operator. He's like, what? He's like, we're going in. He's like, going in for what? He's like, we're, we're going clubbing. You're going clubbing in the matrix at this time when everyone's sleeping. He's like, yeah, yeah. He's like, you do know the agents are now back in the matrix, right? You know he is back in the matrix, right? Agent Smith, right? You know if he if 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 he finds you, if he catches you, if he catches you, he will kill you, right? No, like, yeah, don't worry about it. We'll keep it low key. And the Mike B. Jordan and VJ, they go, they, they they the operator plugs them into the matrix, and they go clubbing in the matrix. And I happen to be at that same club with my friend, my so called friend, obviously. And then you see Mike B. Jordan, they're dancing to the music, and and, and, and VJ, they're dancing to the music, obviously. You know what I'm saying? They're dancing to the music, obviously. And then what? Mike B. Jordan's dancing to the music, obviously. He's dancing to the music, obviously. And he's a bit, like, down. You know what I'm saying? He's like, shh, 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 shh. He's like, stop stressing yourself. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the Oracle gave us a clue. Maybe the one is here. You know what I'm saying? He's like, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you want a drink? Yeah, yeah. Get me a whiskey. And Mike B. Jordan's like, two whiskeys coming right up. And he goes to the counter to, to, to buy a whiskey. Two whiskeys, obviously. Two glasses of whiskeys, obviously. I'll get two glasses of whiskey, please. And he's, 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 you know what I'm saying? He gets the two glasses of whiskeys, obviously. And I happen to be talking to my friend. My so-called friend. Obviously, I'm like, hey, man, how well did you know your parents, man? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, you know my parents were well. Were they good to you? Yeah, my parents were good to me. Did they know you were hacking? No, they never knew I was hacking. After high school, I I, 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 I got a job at the restaurant, and I've been doing hacking on the side. I made some good money for myself. I'm like, yeah, like, around the time we met. Yeah, yeah, around the time we met. You know what I'm saying? He said, what about you? You're a closed book. You never told me about your parents. Yeah, I was adopted. You were adopted? Yeah, my parents hated my guts. They kicked me out of the house 20 years ago. Around the time we met, yeah, 20 years ago, they kicked me out of the house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, my parents told me that uh, uh, 36 years ago. 36 years ago, I mean, around the time uh, the, the agents were seen in the city. I'm like, yeah, around that, I, I guess. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Um, 36 years ago, um, uh, my, parent, my parents told me that some man found me in a junkyard. And Mike B. Jordan's like, what day did this happen? It happened on, on this day. Hey, wasn't that the day around the time the unusual events took place in the city and the agents were seen the agents were seen in the city? Yeah, I guess so. And Mike Jordan's like, holy shit, this is consistent with what, what, what the Oracle told me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You mean, you mean you don't know who your real parents are? No. Some man found you in a junker. Or yeah, someone found me in a junker and they put me in the adoption agency. And my, and my parents, that's how my, that's how my parents adopted me. And they hated my guts. They kicked me out. Michael Jordan's like, holy shit. This is consistent with what the Oracle told me, yeah? I'm like, hey, man, can I ask you something? He's like, yeah, shoot, man. He's like, you know, it's every time when you sleep, when you dream, when you wake up, don't you feel like it's all a dream? Don't you feel like you're dreaming? And the guy's like, no, not really. All I think about is booze, woman, and hacking. I'm like, no, seriously. Like, when you sleep, don't you feel like you're dreaming? Like, it's all a dream? And the guy's like, no, no, I don't. And Michael Jordan's like, holy shit. And I'm saying, I think I found the, the man, you know what I'm saying? Guys, like, come on, relax, man. You're stressing yourself. You're this, this. You're the best hacker in the city. I'm like, I'm like, you're this, this. You're also the best hacker in the city. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and I'm like, hey, keep it down. Remember, this is illegal, right? And Michael Jordan's like, holy shit, he's a hacker, like Thomas Anderson was. Yeah. And he's like, come on, man. Let's 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 go. Let, 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 let's go. Let's let's go dance. And I dance with my friend. And Michael Jordan has that look on his face. And the guy's like, sir, are you gonna pay for that? I'm like, he's like, yeah, sorry about that. He lost focus. And he, he pays for his whiskey, two whiskeys, and he grabs VJ. You know what I'm saying? VJ's like, what? What? It looks like you've seen a ghost. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I think I found the one. He's like, who? Who do you think it is? He's like, he tilts his head, that guy over there. Hmm, he is cured, and I thought. He's like, no, seriously, VJ. You know what I'm saying? This man's really the one. We've got to find information about him. Okay, did you get a name? Yeah, I got a name. You got his friend's name? Yeah, I got his friend's name. We need to find more information about this guy before they find out who this man really is. If the, this man really is the one. The agents find out who he is. They're gonna. They're gonna. They're, 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 it will not be. It will not be too good news for that man. And that leads to to to, 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 to later on in the story where Mike B. Jordan tails his friend, puts a listening device on him. You know what I'm saying? My friend gets interrogated. He sells me out. And they're all like, "Holy shit! We need to get. A, we need to give this man a call before the agents get a hold of him. Otherwise, they're gonna kill him." Yeah. And it was in this video. It was Ivan Amir. I'm signing out. Peace.